Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to look at the positive offensive contributions Patrick Patterson had in Friday's loss. This is a fun play to start on because it shows Rondo's mastery of the offense. He's pointing for Morris to clear out to the corner because he wants him to clear out that space to allow a pick and roll to happen. And he's motioning for Patterson to walk up, come set the screen, let's start this action. And as George comes up, he, Rondo, we see him tell George, hey, no, 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 back away, back away. And he's pointed to Batum to set the screen that will allow Patterson to walk up and set his own screen. Well, here it comes. Patterson comes up to set the screen. He's going to turn and slip it out to the top of the arc. And as Rondo drives, we see Embiid pointing. The reason Embiid's pointing is he wants Tybal to get back to Patterson. But this doesn't happen. It allows Patterson to get off an open three. Patterson ends up making this, and these are the types of plays Patterson can provide for the Clippers. I don't think Patterson gets enough credit for the type of player that he is. He's come in the last couple weeks with Embiid out and done a very good job as the secondary big. Here, George steps back into a pump fake. He's going to feed the ball off to Patterson, and then they're going to flow into a little handoff and roll action. There's the screen being set. Patterson's going to slip it out to the top. George occupies Embiid, who is Patterson's defender. Patterson is wide open at the top. It's only a two-pointer. It's about as long of a two-pointer as you can get, but Patterson sinks this one. Ronald really has done a good job with the Clippers. It's pretty incredible to watch on the court, the way that he has a imprint on this entire offense. But Toom walks up to set a screen. He's going to walk up to set the screen, but we can actually see Rondo tell him to wait a second. He has his hand up, just, just hold on a second, come back in a minute to set the screen. So Batum's going to wait, comes up to set another one, and as Batum walks to set the screen, we're going to notice that Tybal's trying to come under this, which you should go under Rondo's screens, but he comes out aggressively, which allows Rondo to back cut the, the overplay by Tybal. Rondo then looks at George, and by looking at George, it occupies Danny Green, which is going to allow Rondo to make the pass to Patterson. This is a contested look for Patterson, but if there's one thing he can do, it's bang home threes, baby. Clippers really love these slip screens into flares. They just love them so much with their small ball. Batum runs up to set one. He's going to slip to the wing. Rondo behind the back. Batum pump fakes because Tybal is such a great closeout defender who can block shots. But here we go. Patterson's going to run up to set the second screen. It's a good screen against uh, Maxi. He's then going to flare out to the top of the arc. Maxi's late to recover. Rondo goes behind the back to Patterson. Maxi's too small to basically matter on the shot contest, and Patterson knocks home another one. This is such beautiful play design. Patterson's going to set a down screen for Kennard. And as Kennard comes off, he's going to curl into the paint. By doing this, look who he occupies. He occupies Ben Simmons. He occupies Anthony Tolliver. And what's that leave? Well, it leaves Patrick Patterson open in the weak side corner. Kennard makes the proper read, the proper pass. It's on time, on target. Patterson has a quality look from deep, and he's going to knock in this corner three. Clippers head coach Ty Lue said post-game, the reason he wanted to use Patterson is he wanted to bring Embiid away from the paint and make Embiid have to stay and try to help and recover on that action. Batum slip screen, Batum's going to roll. As Batum starts to drive, what do we see with this Batum drive, folks? We're going to see Embiid, who wants to be a rim protector, dig down way off Patterson. It's going to allow Batum to hit Patterson in the corner because he'll be left open. There's the pass. There's the shot. Look how open Patterson is. This is a high-quality look for the Clippers and Patrick Patterson. All right, final play that we're going to look at for Patterson here. Once again, what does Patterson do? Set a high screen. This screen's against Ben Simmons. It's going to allow Paul George to get downhill to the teeth of the defense. When George kicks it out, Patterson's already knocked down so many threes that Embiid has to respect him. So Embiid's going to close out hard, which is going to allow Patterson to drive right by him. Well, when he does, the low men defenders here are Danny Green and Shake Milton. These are not rim deterrents. So Patterson goes up hard. Danny Green fouls him. Patterson goes to the line for two free throws. Patrick Patterson's ability to space the floor and make the proper decisions every time on that end are very valuable.